<laughs> you don't like that. I guess let me uh What have you done? Am I coming through? Oh great. Okay, so currently uh Calvin is having some technical difficulties with his microphone. Are you muted in OBS? Like do you have like your Okay, well, it is. Uh, it does appear to be Chain on the other end. We, uh, ironically, Calvin and I have t tested this exact matchup recently. Including the part where, uh, oh, oh are you okay, through? there we go. My, my audio's in now. Yes, we're seeing a Chain here, which is actually pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, um... We believe that Bernard is not on a typical prism list. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Probably shouldn't say too much. I, I assume that with three viewers, uh, our opponent yeah. here is not one of them sniping us. But uh, well, let's, let's, I guess I won't, uh, yeah. I won't say more until <laughs> sideboards have been presented. The old classic chain prism. You know. So this is uh, honestly, I, I will be honest and say, sorry, this is one of my favorite matches in Flesh and Blood. I love this matchup. I say this as the chain point of view. Um, uh, I, I, I enjoy the control matchup as chain across the board because you get to just do so many things with your deck late game when you're flipping over eight shackles that might be the most powerful feeling in flesh and blood um prison in particular has a lot of interesting nuances with some of the uh the auras particularly arc light sentinel uh when that comes down how you play around it what you're how you're building your deck to play around because that is really what this matchup comes down to a lot of times yeah. Uh, is that that seven eight shackle turn? Is there an arc light sentinel? Are you going to be able to present enough self inflicted damage to the chain by keeping a bunch of their cards in in their their banish zone? Yeah, I mean sometimes the game can literally come down to did was chain able to get a time snap potion in play? Yes, that is a, a very big one. Uh, if, if time snap potion comes down, I, ideally the chain, they play first, they make a shackle, they make a rune chant. Uh, well, they do that in the other order, actually. They make a rune chant, they make a shackle, they play a time snap potion, and they move, they put a card in arsenal. Um, that is the ideal first turn for chain against prism. Bernard really shuffling really that deck sh here. Really that deck Just, up. This is the loudest shuffle. thing I've ever heard for some reason. Yeah. Well, fortunately, our streamers do not have to listen to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bernard really wants to win the dice roll here, too. So does Chain. I mean, going first is just... It's a really important matchup to be going first in. There are some matches where uh, the aggro deck doesn't really mind playing second. Uh, I think Chain does want to play first in almost every matchup, but... Yep. In this one in particular, this is one of the matchups where you're just really wanting to play uh play first uh so is that a halo of or crown yeah well, i don't remember the full name of that card for some reason but that does that does seem interesting hey this chain is on time skippers oh wow he's on the time that's, skippers that's my tech i like this guy he's still in our tech it'll just make me feel less bad if I present time skippers against a prism opponent, so they don't think I was like sniping them, it's like no, 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 this is just like an independent tech that we've all decided is good. Actually, <laughs> like it's just better than creepers against prism because of the aforementioned arc light sentinel. And for yeah. those that uh, are unaware, I don't know how many people are watching this that are not, you know, deep into flesh and blood, but um, arc light sentinel, if it comes down before you attack, if you attack into it, you actually do not get to activate Spellbound Creepers. The attack never goes off, therefore Spellbound Creepers is not active. So Time Skippers lets you just ignore that entirely. So 
this we is, got a talisman of warfare yeah, we got a here. Talisman of warfare. So this is this is some spicy tech here. We have we have seen discussion of this a little bit recently. Yep. And then just moving to arsenal so that is a, a turn you know a fair a, a decent turn one you got an item down wasn't a time snap but obviously threatening that arsenal almost at any time yeah it's pretty is... good especially with rosetta thorn right so that's going to be very tricky for bernard to navigate bernard could also just say i'm not going to arsenal this turn i'm going to full <laughs> just do everything i can to not arsenal yeah. and then just as soon as two, because it, it, the the trigger is two damage, not whether there's cards in arsenals or not. Uh, also, it does say all arsenals. Yes. So it can it can also backfire pretty, pretty easily. So it's important to note that Chain is running a seventy two card deck. So I think. Yeah, Chain is, is definitely sideboarding the opponent, <laughs> mousing over the Enigma Chimera. Uh, the, Understandable. The old mouse over Enigma Chimera. I had to do that IRL when Calvin played one of these against me. Uh, this is when the opponent might be thinking, is my is Prism going aggro against me? And, yeah, um, I think he's probably already figured that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> all things considered, this is what we were talking about, or I was talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, we have seen Calvin on this uh, last week. It is, it is kind of a... Uh, would you call it a Galaxy Gaming Brew? This is a Galaxy Gaming <laughs> Brew for sure. It is okay. So that just hits. We 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 like that. We get a haze bending here. A passing mirage. Yeah. So the... that's a passing mirage. Cool. Again, all our all prism cards look the same. <laughs> um, I am apparently prejudiced against prism cards, but this is a great aura to get down for Bernard and his aggro strat. So okay, that that one shackle hitting shadow Versor is a rough one. Uh, yeah, that's a phenomenal uh, first so, tackle. It, it does make his opponent kind of have to navigate interestingly here, because that Shadow Averser, if he just throws that out to banish something from hand, that is going to trigger... Okay, he's doing that. Okay, he's not. Okay, I think he understood. I think he figured it out pretty quickly. <laughs> and if he just threw that out there, he was going to he was gonna command and conquer himself, so... Yeah, don't want don't to wanna command and conquer yourself. It's usually not good. Are right, he is? Okay, so I guess his, his his thought is he values his arsenal as much or less than his opponent's arsenal. Now he could uh, play if it's you know if arsenals are destroyed and it's like a art of war, right? He could play that at instant speed. True. That would be. Um, you really hate to see your uh, chain opponent get Art of War into Arsenal on turn zero, but that is something he can do. All right. So they're gonna remember that trigger. Yeah. So that. What do we got here? Why did his opponent take two as well? The opponent does seem to have taken two. That's a soul wow. reading. Interesting. Uh -huh. I don't know if I don't just play that first. I am okay. Yeah. Do we know why his opponent took two? Um. No, I have no idea why he took two. Okay. Well. I mean, maybe something from warfare. Uh, I don't text think confused him. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Is... Maybe he was ticking his own life total down, thinking it was Bernard's. He looked down, and he was like, surely I can't be at 32 already. This is Prism <laughs> on the other side. E-Strike? Wow, E-Strike. Interesting. Yo, I'm into this. And that's a good card. E-Strike is a good card. It's probably coming in for seven. A five with two and two is better, I think. Uh, it's not oh, two and two. yeah. It's not two and two. There has not been enough. Oh, to play this. so I just seven. Yeah, it's the same thing then. Yeah, that's true. Interesting. So why didn't he grasp them? If it's not go again, and then he's leaving that passing mirage out. Well, yeah, it could be five go again and then attack passing, right? Or yeah, yeah it's, it's got to be five. If go it's again. five go yeah, that... again, attack passing. That's yeah. 
We're fine. He's missing... so Bernard, we are fine with them attacking the passing. That is just damage not going into us. Yep. Damage prevention. So Bernard's definitely thinking. Do I want to prevent some damage here? Is my hand a little meh? There's no on hit, so. It's just damage. I mean, this is a pretty solid, what, 11? Yeah. Not surprised. Just takes it. Yep. And then there's and that. Into there. Yep. a four card hand he's coming in with the handy dandy herald of triumph this was actually huge because it cuts down the amount of cracks in the deck to three yeah um, just the runic reclamations and we don't know how many yes. you know probably probably at least two all right well it just hits we're fine with that now we have is that a mirage? It's a mirage metamorph. <coughs> uh, so we do have yeah. I don't love the order in which these were played. Um, I don't think it's going to particularly matter. But it's it, yeah. It's nice uh, to threaten uh, the crack on Mir now. There's no real threat on the crack on the miraging. So if we did have it in hand, but he doesn't have a crack, so he's just gonna block with skull cap. Continue the race here. Take some damage. He's at 19, and he's on shackle two. Yeah, he's got. Uh, we had one hit. Yeah. Another hit. I mean, that's that's huge. On. That's 66 percent of his first of his first three shackles yeah. was hit. You you do like to see that as a chain player. Ooh, an art. Of and War. we have an art of war. Okay. So many hits, and on a 72 card deck, kind of wild. I just love without hearing the the, the talking, just thinking about what the, they're saying <laughs> based on where their mouses are, because just get like a lot of threatening oh, mouse yes. movements every now and then. Man, this is already looking like a big turn. It is a, looking like a big turn. Right, we have two floating still. Wow. And this is coming in for eight. It's pretty big. So Bernard He's has to already chained. Consider, does he just kind of block out this turn? Maybe preserve some life so he's not in the red so quick. Hmm. I think the best card in the game is gonna get used next turn, right? The husk is gonna get used next turn. Uh, yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's like the life. Dang, that, that hurts. Did take an art of war turn to like try to swing back and then the husk. Oh my god. I know. You know the, the life totals. They look. Uh, they look further away than they. They actually are. Yeah, they're they're much closer yep. due to having husk. Um, however, ironically enough, the time skippers is actually kind of. Uh, just a bad card for him here. Correct. Um, since since if it was going aggro, the action yeah. point is really not getting him anything. Uh, and it, well, it's the fact that it's such an expensive action yep. point. Because if it had been creepers, you know, that's one. Snapdragon scalers is zero. Uh, this is the most expensive action point you can run on your feet. But you know, you, you pay that premium to get around Dark White Sentinel. If Dark White Sentinel isn't coming in, then you, know, you don't really care. All right, he was just taking the full hit. I think he's hoping that the uh, the two cards he drew off of uh, that Art of War are just not very strong. Well. All right, so that comes <laughs> to four. And then there's one card Rosetta. left. So you were assuming the Rosetta is coming in for eight total? Oof. Yep. That is a chunky, chunky hit. Okay, so we just pitched for all the uh Interesting. Alright, so I'm going chance. to guess a tunic tick up, swings red war tune, arsenal's a card. Let's hope the red war tune would threaten 
the husk? Like you just needed to give him the husk yeah. or and then yep. Okay. Okay, mirage. Alright, uh, miraging is just as good. Isn't that the same card as a red war too? Uh it's basically the same, yeah. It's got the added side effect of, you know, you can't really he's got a crown in play, so you can't really crack it without uh, the threat of that getting cracked and having something, you know, a, a random aura coming down that gets duplicated. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, he, he might have a fairly scuffed hand here, so he's actually considering blocking, uh, not husking, which is interesting. Yeah. Considering what's going on here, we do love the Tuna Tick Up play a seven for one. Yeah, you're um, you're not upset about that at any point. Uh, All right, uh, he takes one. He's here. getting the husk. We're okay with that. Yep. It had to had to, had to come out eventually. <clears throat> getting an arsenal here. Sorry about that. Yeah, arsenal is important. So. He's really going to need to threaten a lot of damage. Let's hope these all miss. And you love this. Miss. Whoa. Let's go. You see a Whispers of the Oracle in there? <laughs> yeah, what is I'll, ask, I'll ask again. Why does that card block for three? <laughs> LSS Valley's opting as a uh, negative one oh cost. Oh my gosh. Yo, is this Tanner? What the fuck? Tome of Torment. Uh, he, oh. he shackled that, right? It's gonna so be a time a... skipper's. Yeah, it's a shackle. It's gotta be a time skipper's turn at this point. If you're. It's an action. Yeah. Yes. So you have. To, so the. It doesn't have go again. The tome. The tome of Torment doesn't have go again. So he had to shackle it, which he already oh, he did, did, right? Because he started. Okay. He, had, he, he had three three shackles this turn. Wow. This could be a very weak turn. It could be the, the, the strongest turn in the world, or there's gonna be like time skippers. Well, he's kind of tanking here, so it's not. Because you have Moe's Kais and a uh, Shadow Puppetry, so it's like, Gorgon's not a problem. Unless you don't have them, then Gorgon's a problem. Bernard has got a five card hand. Um, Mongo Herald Prism can do some wild stuff with a five card hand. Yeah. There's a good chance it's a fractal in Arsenal, yes. right? Because we haven't seen it. Like, it wasn't flipped over at any point yet. I mean, yeah, there's just as good of a chance of there being a fractal in his hand, though, too. So, I mean... It, That's true. He really wants, a little he dangerous, because we also haven't seen a crack fractal yet. Hand, you know, you want... Ooh. Spice. That's so gross, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's 18. Yeah, but it requires... Why a four? You need a yellow in the pitch, but yellow is enough. Is not enough. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're pitching another tome and just getting an unhallowed rights with no go again. So he does, and he doesn't. Wow, was how, this hand? Fascinating. You just, you just take this, right? Like, oh uh, yeah. You, I mean, depending on what's in. The I mean, obviously, yeah. How good the crackback <laughs> is. Uh, if he needs all of his cards. Is there anything that he could do to get an action point here? No, no. right? I don't, I don't. Gippers is an action. What is happening? Looks like he did just he take it. Oh, right. he's just. Okay. Well, there are no non-attacks in the. There is, there is the. Uh, oh, the, the one. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Okay, so that was a six damage turn. Yeah, we'll we'll take that on Jackal takes three every time. He, he takes the one blood debt. So was he at eighty before? So he hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't taken his blood debt. Yet. Okay, perfect. That credit for reflections. Hmm. Yeah, I mentioned that immediately. 
No, but like, uh, I wonder what he's gonna use. Can you make a shield at instant speed and then break it again at instant speed? Yeah, you get your priority back once the shield resolves. Oh, that's cool. I, I should know this, but yeah, that's cool. Alright, okay. Oh! It is, it is. Ooh. Oh, it's the judgment. So this is very spicy. Um, he definitely has a fractal. This, oh, this, is yeah. a, this means wow. he has fractal, right? So he wants this card on the chain so he can copy it with a fractal. Very spicy. Yeah, or, or that or it hits, and then we, we're fine. And then we're that. happy. Yeah, because if it hits, it goes to soul. Uh, an important distinction with a fractal is that these light these light illusionist attacks, when they hit, they do go to soul, so they're no longer on the chain. So fractal doesn't have anything to copy at that point. Uh, possibly the biggest drawback of fractal as a card yeah. However, if this if this gets blocked like you assume it will, then it will still be on the chain for fractal, and it will get the the, yep. the text. <laughs> so we're we're happy either way. We have three cards still. Um, yeah. You wonder if there's a an erudition follow up on this or something that could just be really backbreaking. Yeah, and Fractal opens up some potential greed plays, too, where it's like, well, if he then plays the the Judgment, I mean, the Air Edition next, that gets cracked, then Judgment is off the chain. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can... Like, what if it's... What if it's... <laughs> Phantasmoclasm in hand? Oh, no, you wouldn't even You would have started. Ah, uh, probably would have started yeah. with it. Wow, well, really in the tank about this. Yeah, Hera of the Judgment is a very threatening on hit against Chain. It, it is one of the worst cards to see on the combat chain as Chain. Wow. All right, so we're, uh, once again, Wish for the Oracle, blocking for three. LSS. Oh, oh ah! my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Oof. Wow, that's huge. That is brutal. Yep. Goes to soul, plus three, discard, and then a yellow war tune. Yeah, just a war tune afterwards. Holy crap. Very spicy turn. Did it burn out? Oh my god. What is that? What card is that? That's called a last ditch effort. It's a spicy. Oh, I, I used to run whoa. that on my Bravo list. Wow, that was, That's... okay, so that was a phenomenal turn. That was, heart. yeah. So all we want all of this to be blood yes. death for the most part. <laughs> All right, so we got we one. one. So he's going to take two damage, most likely, what, depending on what And likely just have to shackle and pass up. Yep, and that puts Bernard firmly in the driver's seat. Uh, but he has to... He has to have a follow-up here. He like, right, he can't brick. No, he can't do this. He can't do this. Yeah, he oh, can. Oh, no, yeah, he, he, no, oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He can still shackle. Oh, I forgot about judgment. Oh, that's such a good card. So, yeah, it's really good against Chain, huh? <laughs> His opponent was like, well, I got I got a, maybe a turn here. Let's play this. And no. Like, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Would have liked to see more more blood that vanishes for Bernard. Yeah, we're hoping that he's able to put a little bit of pressure here to get a couple cards out of hand. Yeah. That way, if a lot of blood debt does get banished here on five, you know, it's hard to to clear a lot of it. Still haven't seen a fractal, so that's interesting. We saw Did he set him out? Because Bernard is super genius. You know, an air addition into a fractal could be very spicy here because the lack of equipment block. All right. I he still has a... two in there. Oh, he can't oh. that. Oh, yeah. Let's pitch. He can if he has a yellow to make a shield That's with. All he wants He's still. To. All right. I feel, or, like, uh, I feel like he wants to take this Chimera back, but feels like maybe he already presented it. Yeah. Okay, we're... That makes you worried about the hand? Yeah, the hand might not be very great. I mean, it definitely has an attack, so we know it has yellow. So he can pitch the Coalescence to play Enigma. Don't know if that's really what he wants. Um, wow, that pummel was so spicy. 
it was very spicy. Hope it hope it gets him there over the finish line here, but this turn is it's in a very uh, important turn. A pretty pivotal turn here. Yeah. Need to be able to continue seizing tempo. Like to threaten lethal, but at the very least needs to get cards out of Chain's hand. Needs to get cards out of Chain's hand. Uh like I said, which is why you'd like to threaten lethal. But if you get him down, if he doesn't, you know, if he just, if you, you know, say you Enigma Chimera, he just like takes eight, right? Oh uh, yeah, it takes then seven. You're in, yeah. you're in block mode to get the blood debt as a kill at that point. So there's always that that pivot that that Bernard can do here. There is also and three. Yeah, there's still there's still three equipment. Three equipment blocks. So. We really, I really am questioning the lack of skull cap here i really would like a skull cap here yeah i guess it's the arcane barrier is the is that the only ab um in the current list yeah okay <laughs> might be a mistake it's a work in it's a work in progress I don't think it's a mistake to have the AB. I think it's just a mistake to bring it in in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, Granted, it did save you know five damage on that or four damage on the mm -hmm. the one turn. But all right, so okay, so we're pitching. It's like a blue war tune. Pitch the yellow chimera. Maybe he's worried about a crack, so he can get the action point. <laughs> Yeah, if we see a crack here, that's a card. You know, worst case scenario. Could just take it. I mean, he's only at nine. Takes five and then sees what the next attack is. I mean... He knows the hand is... He knows that there's an Enigma Chimera. Well, he knows that there's... Well, he, well, he, yeah. Mirage. I know that we... Yeah, he knows... That, yeah, he knows one extra card, but... Pitching the Enigma Chimera, and he has a yellow in hand. No, I thought the Enigma Chimera was the only yellow. Uh, he had he had a yellow Coalescence Mirage. So I'm very interested by what this... Because this is more damage than Coalescence Mirage. Coalescence Mirage. Takes it. Alright. Okay. Got a threaten. Got to threaten cards out. Oh no! Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That is. That is a okay. So we have a library with two yellows. So he gets to five. Oh, it's five cards. So we are seeing five cards. We do like seeing five cards here. That oh, is. Never mind. All right. Um. Oof, this is yeah. very scary, though. And there's a time skipper. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, One hit. Dimensional gateway. This is a spicy list. Hmm. All right. So we like having five cards to block with here. Yeah. Uh, seeing this no is not the ALS, last turn, right? a little worrisome. Um, I'm not sure if the library play is the right play this late, but I understand that. It basically bricked him, so he had to play it, right? Like, uh, I think it's correct because he gets an arsenal in a four-card hand, or a library with a five, like it's yeah. a five-card. Yeah. So where else would the library have gone, it's right? True, like, right. You can't, yeah, you like can't just arsenal for four-card. Yeah. If you arsenal it, it's a waste of a card. Right. So playing it here at least gives you the five cards and lets you now set up to you know, to block a little bit more aggressively this turn and then present something. Oof, on the crackback, he does. This is like a seven card chain turn. Yep. All right, so he's just shackling this. We're obviously, Damn. he's obviously gonna time skippers here. We did see him uh, banish another Artivore, so there is only one unaccounted for Artivore. Uh, hopefully it is not in the six cards that he currently has the ability to look at. That would be a bummer. I get this feeling that Bernard is cussing me out on the inside. That 
libraries in this list and he drew it at that moment. <laughs> I am honestly surprised the libraries in this list. Okay, we got a puppetry here. This might be the turn oh. that we turn on. Wow. Okay, so that's first. That's lasted ever for four. five with an on. Five with an on hit, yep. It might be time. I mean, I mean, this does have go again naturally, so we're. Is it time for slippers? Like, do we do we pitch into slippers here? To get some extra value. <clears throat> He's already shackled. I mean, he can play this. Vanishing. Home of the Ark Knight. I mean, we're just seeing card after card after just the kitchen. No, yeah, just, I, it's Tanner. He's just playing. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> this dude's gonna, after the match, he's gonna pull his mask off and he's gonna be Tanner playing. <laughs> I'm committing to streaming. I was an awkward number. I think gross number. You want to block with Tanner? I think you just you hope that the on hit doesn't happen. You can't you just you can't punt tempo. I want to see more. Even if, even if the on hit does happen, there's not a lot of cards in the deck that you care about. Like he's got two cards in hand and a card in the arsenal. Um, that's fair. The worst case scenario is like another Urster, but that's like it's a pretty low percentage. I guess exactly. He's gonna, he's gonna throw cards into it. I guess he does have a perfect five block here, so. There we go. Airship for two go again. What if he just doesn't have a blood deck card? <laughs> I mean, possible, right? It is very possible. 72 card deck. That is the... Uh, the chain lifestyle. Your, your deck kind of does need a lot of very specific cards. Uh, things like non-attack actions to activate some of your Blood Dead cards. Blood Dead cards to activate Shadow Averse or Art of War. Um, yeah. And you need them to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, so it, it does create a lot of uh, squeezes in, in certain situations where you know one of your needed resources is thin whether you don't have the non-attacks to activate blood debt cards or whether you don't have uh you know something yeah see he doesn't even look it's like a got... i love that so, so did he just much. make a rune chant yeah he did interesting this list is not... swing oof oof oh, okay that's not bad that's coming nine. in for nine. Now, depending on how good this wow. hand is. Wow. You might just take that, right? I think you might just. Uh, unless there's like. Does he have anything floating? No, right? No. No invert. So. You have to hope that Bernard has like a yellow pitch double war tomb hand. And that. Is there another non attack in Graveyard? I don't think there is. Ooh, right? the spice. He's taking this. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta live ah. on the edge, baby. Ghost of Living Chain. on I mean, the this edge. Is, this is huge, right? So basically, it takes two from Blood Death. This game. This is, is the last to, turn, no yeah, matter this what. This is gonna come down to did Chain draw a crack? Yep. It's flesh and blood a... at its peak. Oh. Uh -huh. Making. Okay. okay he or... wants another five card um, hand. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because he died to Thorn, right? No, he can make a shield. Well, so I guess technically. Block this. Or maybe he won't. Oh, wait a minute. Does oh, he have no, a, minute. There's no well, there's no other non-attack in the graveyard, right? There was only the one 
played. Ooh, I think how much does Harold Protection cost? Another one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Harold of Protection's two. No, uh, Crown of Perfection. Does it cost oh, anything? Oh, it doesn't cost anything. So, is it gonna, like, Tunic and then War Tune and then Flash into Blue for the cutesy finish? Um, That'd be, like, Galaxy Brain. That would be Galaxy Gaming Brain. What? That would be so cool. I would, like, throw my phone across the, like, <laughs> room if that happens. Well, he's definitely setting himself up for another... Um, five card library hand. Bernard, do it. Do it for the first stream. So if he throws out a red war tune, he can block three with equipment. Um, oh, it's also important to note that uh, going down to one turns off skull cap. Yeah, the other opponent, the opponent doesn't have skull cap on right. So now. it's like there's a uh, hilarious, mm. like funny war, uh, merciful kills, right? Oh, true. Maybe especially with a five card hand, yeah. And if, if that's if his opponent takes one, though. Wow. Okay, never mind. I, I spoke too happening? soon. Okay, so Bernard needs to take off the tunic counter. Attack with, like, <laughs> any one cost. Well, I think he's setting up the, the five card hand, so. Ah. Oh. But his, if his opponent. So we're kind of worried about his opponent having an. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Plasm. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see the hand. This gets rid of... Okay, he's showing it, so he doesn't have the invert. Shadow puppetry, right? Yeah, or, you have to take the shadow The shadow puppetry. puppetry. Everything else is yep. pretty mediocre. And it's all reds. Well, there's no, there's one blue, but I think you have to disable oh. it anyway. Really hoping he takes the shadow puppetry. It's either the shadow puppetry or the blue. The blue is also yeah. a, a fine... The blue is a really good point, actually. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, What'd he pick? He doesn't oh, he, he picked pick the, the blue? blue? Yep. That's not okay. bad. Oh God! Here's here's the here's a block draw. Here's a don't block yeah, he, draw. He, 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 he draws it. unmovable or whatever. <laughs> no, no. So my favorite thing crack, to do with yeah. Phantasmoclasm is present no cracks. Yeah, bottom of card, crack, and then yeah, just, yeah. Just, just like don't look at it. Just like yeah. block with it. And there's like, oh, your phantasm. Like I did it twice, already. Very rude. Well, not to Calvin. One's in a pro quest and one one so, against. Calvin. This is coming in for nine, right? He's got yeah. This is all equipment block. So, he needs no, to, he's got two equipment. He, no, he does not have three equipment blocks. Oh, They're two. at the same life. Skullcap is dead. So, so he's got two equipment he needs blocks. To block the whole thing. So he needs to. It's a whole hand. This, so this, and, and three cards. Bernard uh, no, yeah, also. Three. Bernard's also gonna have a five card hand. Yes. So Bernard gets to block yep. a lot. Yep. He also has a spectral shield that he can protect. Uh, if if somehow the opponent could turn on Rosetta. Yep. I'm gonna see some Kano BS. Where's like? Oh, this is so spicy. Like his opponent's thinking. That means there's no crack. Like there's no. Oh, there's, there's no crack. crack. Oh yeah. The, well, trust yeah. me. He would if he if he drew the crack. That would like. I mean, it would be a game over on the spot. Like I can read the tabletop simulator hand, and I know that he doesn't have it. Like instantly. Everyone, whenever <laughs> someone draws a, se a six plus, they you re you can read it immediately. Yeah, TTS might have more uh, more giveaway tales than real life does <laughs> with how. Where am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Bernard feeling really good right now. Yeah, you, you got to like the spot you're in as Bernard. Uh, he's going to have a five card hand, as mentioned. He gets to protect that spectral shield as much as possible. I think mer um, merciful, a merciful retribution kills the opponent. You think it's a merciful? Well, well, he can't. So no, he can't take. He can't take lethal when the shield cracks, though. Um, uh, what I, so it has to be. He has to block correct. and then it take one yep. for the shield to, to die. But that's still because if he. He's a five card hand, right? So he pitches yeah. two cards to play the mercifully. He has another two cards to block with. Yeah. But the block has to be perfect. I think to... we're more in the draw five cards. Hope your opponent yeah. blocks a shit ton here. Um, has like really bad banishes maybe because you don't want him to be able to like you want him to have bad banishes because he's just gonna play the shadow reverser most likely. Oh, he bought him to blue too, right? Yep. So yeah, so we know he has. Blue? We know he has oh three reds. God. And I think what shadow puppetry blocks two, right? 
Shadow Puppetry blocks two. Yeah. Uh, what were the other cards that we uh, saw? There was... uh, so Bounding also blocks two. Oh my god. No, Bounding blocks no, three. No, it was ha uh, Howl. It howl blocks three. Blocks howl, howl blocks two. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I saw Howl. So it was okay, a Howl, yeah. Shadow Puppetry, and a Riftbind card? Yeah. Yes, Riftbind. Riftbind blocks, blocks three. So there are two block two. So that's nine block right there with three cards. Yeah, that... with an unknown card. Yeah. All right, so okay, we're getting a two, two block. Two, well, we expect grass. Five, five, eight, so we drew eight, an unhallowed. Wow. So his hand is, is shadow puppetry. Just the puppetry currently. Yeah. So he's gonna. That arsenal was stuck there. Well, yeah. What is the arsenal? So Bernard wins if he blocks. Like he doesn't have to like take risks here. Correct, because he just needs to. Oh God. <laughs> it's all of them. He found his blood. He debt. found his blood debt. All right. Bernard, the hardest part of flesh and blood, blocking. Yeah, giving up your hand is the hardest part of flesh and blood. So... Do 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 the thing, man. I hope Bernard realizes that he needs to protect his spectral shield. Uh, well, it's unlikely. So, what is what is this in Arsenal? If it's another puppetry, then he can puppetry then Earther. He can... Yeah. Pitch the puppetry to Rosetta, but we we have the ability to block all of that with the spectral shield. Like he has to protect the spectral shield. Or he will die to Rosetta, Rosetta or Invert. Um, I mean, he... Oh, right, because he doesn't have another card in his soul. Yep. Kind of puppetry. Well, he can't Rosetta. He doesn't have card. He doesn't have a card. No, okay. he can't. He cannot Rosetta now. Yeah. So we're, we're good. We're, we, he just needs to block everything and let him die to blood debt. So this is coming in for five? Yeah. Uh, yes. This might even be a pitch for... Well, uh, yeah, this might be... Three. I think it's pitch... And then block a three. Uh, oh, we're just we're just social. Oh, that's and even he's got better. One floating for his because if that. Steps. Yep. Yeah. If that if this chain closes, yeah, the chain closes. That goes to soul. We have another social. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. So we're we're shackling. And this is just a for four. For so four. we block three yes. and put into slippers. Yep. And then nothing else costs. Well, there's a shadow aversor. Okay. So this is an easy f four block, right? Just tunic, maybe. Yes. Yep. Okay. It's yeah. any. It doesn't matter what the four block is. You just have to. Ah, Bernard, the prism miser. Oh my god. So that's two no go again. Block three. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Mongo Gerald, oh, let's get there. Mongo Gerald, we love to watch <laughs> that. That was, that was awesome. So oh, man. I thought I thought the game was over when the library was played. I thought too much tempo yes. was punted, uh, but it seemed like Chain had also kind of bricked a little bit too. And then, yeah, that was a that turn was a tragic. It was as a chain as a chain player. That turn hurt me deep. The only thing that was a a healing salve. For that pain <laughs> was the fact that Bernard was on the other side. Of so it was like it's like it's good for us, but man, that was a painful turn. You do hate to see it. Wow. Fractal replication. His first one. As someone oh, who man. loves Mongo Gerald's, so hyped <laughs> to watch that win. Um. Ooh. Yeah, that was that was awesome. That was great. Well. Tomorrow, no, Thursday, we have four games back to back. Yeah, Bernard, hey, hey, hey. let's go. Bernard, oh, go, Bongo. Bongo, quick, Bongo. Quick. While we're yeah. still on air, I do need to light you up for that crown instead of uh, what? Uh, Skullcap. The, I, I I think Skullcap is just better, right? Like, I, it's three. I, yeah, I think you're right. I, I mean, I I regretted it. I regretted it a lot. Yes. In this matchup, like a lot, bro, but. Oh my gosh. The library but play, it saved me. I was so Li scared. And then the it just library gassed turn? Me oh. too. I was like, if this card was anything other than library, I win <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Calvin Calvin was like uh, Bernard probably mentally cursing me right now for this <laughs> for this list. But Dude, my... so it actually it worked out because it gave you two five card hands yeah. into the time frame where you just needed to like block and then present a, a moderate threat kickback or on that last turn. You know, I, I know you, you saw, but, you know, it was just very obvious. Like, 
we just block out here and he dies to blood dead we have five cards yeah. to do it with that's huge yeah. No, but like I could have presented um like at least 18 damage if the library was not a library. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we were talking about that too. <laughs> like you either arsenal it and get a four card hand or you just play it and then you have a five card hand. But then you're So it ended up actually I it was honestly it might have been the most ideal time for the library. Like yeah. it felt it felt bad, but in the long run, I mean granted the turn after that, like his turn was just mediocre yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you feel really bad for him oh. about that can, can we also um, can we also uh re recall the time where we pummeled the the judgment yeah <laughs> oh, oh my gosh <laughs> the pummel like dude, your opponent was probably just like what the <laughs> yeah i'm not sure he knew what i did because like he tried to play the tome yeah. after and i was like sir well, the that's the point of the tome too though it's like uh if, if you if you had to block tome will still give you like a semi turn Right. But then, because of judgment uh, on hit, I'm like, wow, oh. that's just very cool. That was so spicy. I, yeah, I was, was I was anticipating a fractal. I didn't I didn't see the the the, the pummel line. I thought I, you sided him out. I took out all fractals but the last but one, and I drew it in my last hand where I needed to where <laughs> to I needed block. an entire blocking hand. Well, yes. it's fine because well, some of the cards he, weren't well, on he the didn't, chain, so yeah, that that was actually yeah. Kind of I mean, you you could set that up. You ended up setting it up this way, but mm. you could obviously have set it up to where you block with an illusionist three block, like towards that's the true. end when you know he's not gonna break the chain again. That's fair. That's fair. That last turn with the phantasm plasm, I was oh my god. I, I actually I actually. F like forgot to play around invert there yeah because i yeah. i i uh blocked with a i think it was like a it was an aura and he could have inverted i blocked with this passing room yeah we were we we're talking about that um because there's only two non-attacks that went into the graveyard all game. yeah and i was like oh no if i get because i had exactly enough to play a dance pleasant but i couldn't didn't have enough yeah. to pitch to arcane so sometimes you just gotta yeah, like hope it don't happen like, like yeah oh that was that was awesome. That, that shredded. Game. All right. <laughs> Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Thursday.